tens of thousands of Israelis don't have homes anymore, can't go back to their home. Where do they go? Where do they stay? How do they survive? Hotels in Israel have opened up. Things are not back to normal by any stretch of the imagination. This is the lobby of the Royal Beach Hotel in Tel Aviv. One of the stories not told by our press in the US is that there are refugees because of the terrorist attack by Hamas. Tens of thousands of Israelis don't have homes anymore, can't go back to their home. Where do they go? Where do they stay? How do they survive? Hotels in Israel have opened up and there are whole hotels that are now housing people who were displaced. One of them is this beautiful hotel, the Royal Beach, which is a block from the Mediterranean Ocean. And in this hotel, in this lobby, when you enter, you'll see people sitting, you'll see them talking, and then you'll see, well, this, this memorial to those in the kibbutz that were killed. This kibbutz, uh, close to um, uh, uh, Berry, uh, where we were just the other day, where uh, the security team was killed, others were killed. They, from what I know, had a little time to get ready. They knew what was happening in other places, but uh, not everybody survived. It's just an example of, of Israelis making sure they're taking care of their own, which is something that we in the United States would most absolutely expect. Uh, and just a reminder that not all is normal. Things are not back to normal by any stretch of the imagination. People don't have homes. And it's not known when they'll have a home again.